Unmet needs in polycythemia vera include us having an understanding as to why patients progress and being able to develop targeted approaches for leading to that inhibition of progression. I do believe that ruxolitinib, when effective, likely helps avoid progression. I believe that interferons, when effective, may have an impact on that as well. But one of our limiters is that at patients on active therapy, we really have no good surrogate markers to see are we achieving that. Or if we're achieving that, might there be a benefit to a higher dose intensity? You know, would we have a benefit of using ruxolitinib at 20 milligrams twice a day versus 10 on the basis of decreasing progression? We don't have a good way to answer that. Would ruxolitinib and interferon combined be more effective avoiding progression? Again, we have no good way to prove that yet at the moment. So that remains a key unmet need. Now, what I'm excited about are several things. One, I think the decreasing the heterogeneity of PV care through improved universal guidelines such as NCCN, I think is a big advance. And it helps to make us more homogenous in how we're managing patients. And hopefully that leads to decreased disease suffering, decrease in thrombotic events. Two, I'm excited that there have now been therapies that have been specifically developed for PV. Ruxolitinib is the first therapy that was developed, designed, and carried out with an FDA approval specific in PV. Before that, everything was largely extrapolated from other diseases uh, or other indications. Uh, finally, there are many additional areas that are being investigated, some in advanced myelofibrosis, but if they prove to be positive, may well be beneficial in polycythemia vera, and some in polycythemia vera itself, whether it be nutlin analogs, histone deacetylase inhibi inhibition, or other therapies. Uh, there remains significant scientific interest as well as interest from the pharmaceutical industry in both identifying unmet needs in patients with polycythemia vera uh, and addressing them therapeutically.